What up gamers? Laz here, and today we're going to start farming the Inverted Spire Grandmaster Nightfall. Without a doubt, this is the easiest GM this season. And because of its ease, you can probably run any subclass combinations that you want. Triple Spectral Blade clears when. But for this recording, my group ran three Chaos Reach Warlocks. Typical Geomag, all that fun stuff. All of the usual mods made an appearance. Protective Light, I say this in every GM video, but this is probably one of, if not the absolute best, PvE mod in the game. Taking Charge. To take advantage of the strength of protective light, we must first become charged with light. I prefer taking charge because, in my opinion, it's the most consistent way to become charged with light. Charged up. The length of time protective light lasts is based on how many total stacks of charged with light you have. Charged up will bring that total from 2 to 3, and with 3 stacks, protective light will last for 13 seconds. Breach and clear. Enough said. Special finisher. I myself tend to spam my blinding GLs, so having someone in the group running special finisher is a surefire way to make sure you don't run out of ammo and continue your spammy spammage. Keep in mind that all three shield types do make an appearance in this GM. There's not a lot of them, but enough to be annoying. Food for thought when choosing your loadout. Everyone in my group used Anarchy because of Breach and Clear and Unstoppable Grenade Launcher. Everyone also used a Nightwatch Scout Rifle for barriers. Between us, we had a Truth Teller, an Empty Vessel, and an Orwings Maul. You could also use an Ignition Code with any of these following Scout Rifles. A Vouchsafe to deal with Void Shields, Eternal Blazon for Arc Shields, or a Madrugada for Solar Shields. And yes, I prefer Madrugada over other legendary Solar Scouts for one reason. Explosive Payload. You can catch me live several days a week at twitch.tv slash LazarusC13. Link is down in the description. I'm just going to assume that you'll be able to handle the opening of this GM, so let's skip ahead to the first room. Take out the scions that are in front of you and the ones across to your right. Look down and take out the first barrier champion. Jump over to the right platform, have your solar person break the shield on the blood guard, then take them out. Leave the unstoppable for now so the adds don't aggro you, and focus on the right barrier first, then take out the left. Once those champs are dead, take out the unstoppable, clear the rest of the adds, then work on the final barrier and unstoppable down below. Don't forget to grab any finishers if you need them. This next barrier is solo dolo, so it should be quick and easy. Watch out for the scion snipers across the way. Blind the gladiators and either run past or finish them if you need the ammo. Take out the legionaries and jump across to the right side. Here there will be a few barriers and an unstoppable with a few goons to support them. Nothing crazy, you know what to do. After they're dead, sparrow off to the right to avoid the scattered enemies. Once you're in a safe place, take out the scion snipers on the top of the left and right bunkers, then focus on the barrier champ in the middle of the arena. Pop a super to clear the adds, then take out the guards inside the two bunkers. Once everything is clear, you can push up to the lift and see if you can get eyes on the barrier in the drill. If you can, and you're up for it, you can attempt to take him out from here. If not, no worries. Use the lift to jump across and blind all the enemies. Toss an Anarchy on the Unstoppable to stun him, then bake these adds. If you ended up killing the barrier before taking the lift, then jump down and deal with the two gladiators. If not, I would try to jump across to the opposite side of the drill, blind the gladiators, and bake the champ, then deal with the remaining adds. Pull the switch and be ready for some legionaries and an unstoppable champ. Let the unstoppable land before going for the stun. Once he's found his footing, stun him, sauce him, clear the adds, and when you get to the part where it's just dogs, do not kill the dogs. If you stand on something high up, they can't reach you and no more adds will spawn. Just chill out until the drill hits 100%, blind the doggos, then jump across. Once across, there will be some void shields and an unstoppable champ. Make quick work of them, then take out the snipers across to your right. If you want, you can work on the next unstoppable and the adds around him from up here, or you can jump across and work on them from down below. Either way, don't forget to grab any special finishers if you need them. In the spinning drills of death area, there will be three barrier champions. Take them out one by one, don't get sauced by the adds or the drill, and you're off to the boss room. Take out the three harpies and the boss will spawn. Apply your anarchy and breach and clear, then throw everything you got at him. If it takes you multiple floors, keep in mind that you'll want to do roughly one-third of the boss's health to progress to the next floor. Just keep that Anarchy and Breach and Clear proc and bake this guy. Now, get to farming those Adept Hung Juries. 
Don't forget to leave a like if this video helped you out in any way. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video at all. Drop a comment down below and tell me what your best hung jury roll is so far. Hit that subscribe button so I can validate my life through social media interactions. And Laz, out. Action.